Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can partition a hard drive on Windows 7. So the first thing you're going to be needing to do is open up control panel and then go to add or remove users and make sure that your account is a, at, is a administrator. And once you've done that or you already know that you're an administrator, just go ahead and exit out of there. Oh, and don't mind my Minecraft window. Um, but anyways, so just to uh, get started, just go on your start menu, then go to the computer, right there, right click, and go to manage, and then from here, go to disk management, and then once you're on here, select the hard drive that you would like to partition. I'm going to partition my HDD not my SSD but uh, this one because it has more memory or more capacity on it and so to do it just select the one you would like to use in here so um, this is the one this hard drive right here my SSD has windows on it you can even if it does have windows on it you can partition it but I'm just going to partition this one right here because it doesn't have a copy of windows on it and um, it barely has anything on it and it's a bigger hard drive so in order to do it just right click on it right down there and then go to shrink volume and you're gonna wait for it to uh, carry shrink space I'm not sure you uh, pronounce that word but anyways here we are now you're going to enter the amount of the space you'd like to shrink and uh, it's in megabytes so what you're going to do for your gigabytes is go onto your set menu and go onto your calculator. Search calculator in there or open up the calculator. And then, so one gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. And so, say I want to do 200 gigabytes, I just times this by 200 and then 204, 8. Zero zero. That is what I'm going to put in there. So two hundred four eight hundred. And remember, you can do this for any number you want, any size. Just remember to multiply it by one thousand twenty four because that is how much one gigabyte is in megabytes. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and press shrink. And when you do that, you you just wait for it to go ahead and shrink the volume. I'm going to pause and I will come back when it's done. Alright, so it's done. I didn't even hear the pause. But it's done. And as you can see, it says unallocated. So what you're going to do to allocate this is just right click and go new simple volume. When you've done that, press next. Choose the size. And in this case, it already has the maximum size on there. And so keep the ma maximum size and press next. And then go ahead and assign the drive letter. I'm going to assign this one C, or not C, B. Let's see, do I have B on here? I do not. So I'm going to assign it B and then go to next. And then change the volume label to whatever you want. So this is just the name of the partition. I'm just going to name this sample partition. And then all of the default sizes are fine. All the file systems are fine the way they are. Go ahead and check for format quick format. It's fine. Press next, then finish. And wait for this to be done. So, and there we are. So 200 gigabytes, and it is a healthy partition. So just to make sure that it's in there, I'm going to go to my computer, and bam, there it is. Alright guys, so thanks a bunch for watching, at the, watching this video. Please make sure you watch my other videos and subscribe.